This is Tilebit, a component library that I created with over 500 designs. Not only is this a component library, but it also features a massive inspiration library with over 1,000 screenshots of real life website sections to help you when you find yourself looking at that blank canvas. There's two main parts to this, so let's go ahead and start by looking at all of our components. So I've created over 500 individual components and these components are available for copying in Figma, Framer, and also Webflow. So I want Tilebit to be a tool that you can use for any project that you have. And in this case, that means being flexible with your tool set. So the way it works in this case is if I wanna filter by here headers, I go over to the category here and I can go ahead and hover over the copy button, which will give me three different options. Here it's Figma, Framer, and Webflow. This is gonna be the same case for all of the components or most of the components in this case, but for example, for Webflow, I just need to go ahead and copy that and go into my Talbit style guide and paste it directly into the style guide. Now it's the same exact workflow for Framer and also for Figma. So if I wanna paste it into Framer, it looks like this, and then Figma will only have the desktop version for now. So you can filter for the exact component that you wanna find here. In this case, we have categories, but we can also do by text layout. So text right or text left, the media alignment. So in this case, I want only images to be on the right side. And in this case, it's media but this could be video, this could be image, absolutely anything that you want. We can also do by columns. So if we do two columns or maybe three columns to see what that would look like, we start to see some more pricing options, which would be three columns, obviously. We can also do by elements. And this is a very powerful one. So we can see exactly the kind of content that we wanna see. So in this case, we have background images and maybe some icons as well. And we can see that we shouldn't really add any more elements here because that'll just filter out to nothing. So in this case, the elements are very, very powerful and also the platform here is also powerful. So there's only a few components which don't have all three versions available. So in this case, for example, like Framer, we'll see that we go from 32 available pages of components to 31. Now, one feature that I wanted Talbit to have since the very beginning was the ability to see what this wireframe could look like in real life. So what we did is if you open up the modal, we'll see that there are a couple of inspirations that are linked to this individual component. Now, this is a super powerful feature because it gives you an idea of what you can create with this type of component, given the right imagery, given the right type of styling. And so this feature allows us to bridge the gap between components and inspirations out there in the real world just a little bit more. Now, all of the components have these three buttons here. This one allows you to see inspirations based on this category, which we'll get into in a second. Category, if you click it, will take you to that category of the component. So in this case, we will only be seeing hero header components. This type of navigation is also found if you go into the components nav bar here. We can go ahead and just filter by the one that we want to use. So in this case, hero headers, click on that, it'll take you to the same exact page. And lastly, here we have the save button, which if we click it, will save directly to our profile. So we can always go back and see the ones that we are favoriting. Now, now one thing to note before we go on to the inspirations is that not all of the components have this similar inspiration attached to it. So for example, here header number two will only have the wireframe piece itself. Now this fully works of course, but it just doesn't have the inspiration attached to it. Now moving on to the inspirations here, if we go on to view all inspiration, we can see that this is all of the inspiration that we have on Tilebit, over 1000 screenshots. In this case, we also have a filter which we can filter by categories. So for example, if I only wanna see pricing sections or hero sections or whatever, the case may be, we can go ahead and use that. But in this case, let's go ahead and keep looking at all of them. We also have a search filter here, which can allow us to search by brand. If we want to see, for example, maybe what Zapier is doing or what Pitch is doing, let's go ahead and test that out right now. We type in Pitch, we can see that we'll get content from Pitch. And so one of the very, very cool things that I personally love about Tilebit is that if we go ahead and click on one of these designs, for example, we'll see that it'll open up a modal. Now, if you pay attention to the bottom right hand corner here, we'll see that our logo is there. Now, we also see that the copy button is there. So the cool thing is that if you hover over the logo, it'll show you what wireframe this inspiration is linked to. So a lot of these components, if you see that there's a copy text here, you'll see that it's linked to an actual component. So by go ahead and clicking here and hovering over the design, you'll see that when you click copy, it'll get you this type of wireframe. Now, if I go ahead and paste that into Figma, just so we can see what we get, we'll see that we actually get the same exact thing that is linked. So this is a very powerful feature that we have right now in Talbit. And of course, apart from this, we also have all of the buttons on top. So if you wanna quickly share this component, you can do that. If you wanna go to the category of this inspiration, for example, this is gonna be the feature section. We click that and it'll take us only to the inspiration feature sections available. So here we have the same thing. Now, this is what I was mentioning. Not all of them are gonna have this copy function. Some of them are still being linked or maybe we haven't found the correct one, the perfect one. So we're still trying to build on that. So you'll see the TBD here to be defined. Now, one thing to note with this feature is that they might not all be absolutely 
pixel perfect with the wireframe that we're building here. So in this case, you'll see that we have the H1 here, a paragraph in the bottom and then an image. But in our case, we have maybe some buttons there. So this is a feature that's meant to give you a starting point more than anything. It's not supposed to be absolutely exact every time. Some of them might be more than others though. Now, if we take a look at the profile dashboard, we have our components that we saved here and also the inspirations. So both are available for you to save and look back later on if there's a specific one that you really like for a project. This is a great way to do that. In the future, we also want to add folders and more capability to this feature, but this is what we have on launch. So now let's talk about pricing. Tilebit is going to be a great product, but I also want it to be affordable for the average designer. So given this, we're going to be launching at $20 a month for our monthly plan and at $16 a month for our yearly plan. If you guys want a discount today, stay until the end to find out about our launch day discount. So now that we're launching Tilebit, what comes after this, right? What now? So Tilebit at the end of the day is a tool like any other. The primary reason that I built Tilebit is because this is something that I wish I had when first starting out, especially that inspiration feature. If we go on to this, for example, you click on that. This type of feature is something that I personally really, really wanted to have when I was first starting out on client projects. But even though we're launching today, the work has just begun. If you take a look at our roadmap here, we'll see what's coming in the next couple of months. So after launch, we're going to take a look at all the feedback that everybody has been giving us in the Discord, which you guys can join, by the way. After that, we're going to tweak our design system, which has a couple of things left over, a couple of tweaks that we might be testing here and there. And then apart from that, we're also going to try to add more unique components to the site. We're going to try to add around 50 every month, some basic, some more unique. And you guys know I love unique components. So this is super, super important for the roadmap. Apart from that, we also want to collaborate with some really cool designers. We also want to add some really cool animations, interactions. And after that, we also need to get into the Chrome extension world, the Figma plugins, the Framer plugins, all of that kind of world will come later on. So guys, Tilebit is officially in beta and I'm super, super proud of what we built here. But it has to be said that because we're still in beta and it's our very first release, you might find a couple bugs here and there with the style guide, with the site itself. So just report those to us and we'll quickly take care of them. Now, I did think that it would be cool to do a 20% off on launch day. So if you're seeing this message up here on the live site, or if it hasn't been 24 hours yet, you can use the code launch to enjoy 20% off your first month. So guys, if you're still watching to the end, I just want to say two quick things. Number one is that we are available on Discord. So this is where people can add the issues that they're finding, feedback, the wish list for new components, new inspirations, things like that. If you want to say, hey, build this exact thing for me, then we can totally do that. And number two, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for getting me to the point where I can even think to make things like this. Without YouTube, none of this would ever be possible. So I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching until the end, for being a part of this. I really appreciate it. And if you guys have any questions about anything I covered or any feedback, any issues, just let me know in the comments or also in the Discord. You can also get in contact with us if you want to just by the contact there. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.